Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we will talk about how to fix or modify an existing DS-160 form. On a K-1 fiancé visa or any other type of visa that require a DS-160 form. Let's say for example you fill out the DS-160 and uh, answer all the questions. You upload the photo and sign and submit it. And then you went to a US travel portal and you uh, made the payment and book your interview. And after that, while you're reviewing your DS-160, you certainly spot a mistake. Uh, let's say you have a wrong name or incorrect address or incorrect uh, place of birth or anything that you fill out on a DS-160. So let's say for example, I was helping someone who mistakenly put a wrong uh, place of birth. And then they realized after a few days that they already had booked their interview appointment and now they were so worried that their interview will get cancelled or they will have to wait for next lot openings and they will end up uh, repaying their interview fee. So there could be a, a, another scenario we will talk about today how to you know, fix their mistakes. Before we continue, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you will get the new update. So first you have to go back to the DS-160 form side uh, where you can see on your screen. First you have to select your location where you are applying. So for this example is a Pakistan. So I will press a P from the keyboard for the shortcut and it will automatically select the Pakistan here, Islamabad. And the next we will add this security code. It is hard to read so you can just refresh from here. And I will type this 6 C H 5 4 9. And from here you have to you have to click on a retrieve an application because you try to retrieve an existing DS160 form that we try to fix. So click on retrieve an application. From here you will provide application ID that it should be on your uh, DS-116 confirmation page under the barcode and you will select here I will select one of them let's say this and from here you will click on uh, the retrieve application so keep in mind this uh, application ID always start with uh, letters A and A click on uh, retrieve application from here it will ask you the security question you will add this security question and after that you will retrieve an application so uh, just keep in mind to retrieve uh, existing DS-160 you can only access this form within 30 days so for example you are already past the 30 days you will have to refill the new form and submit uh, this otherwise you, if it's not uh, is it within a 30 days you can uh, just retrieve it just like that so you will add this security question and then you click on retrieve application from here at the next window you will see this window where it will ask you that yes once the application you are attempting to retrieve has been submitted select an option below and click the continue button what it's saying is that uh, you already have an existing DS-116 that you already submitted before so what do you really want to do now do you want to really see a view confirmation page or do you want to create a new application so for fixing a mistake or modifying you will have to create uh, a new application so once you select this option the, you will click on continue one thing keep in mind that when you click on continue there is no going back and the same time when you click on continue it will generate a new application ID so you will have a, an existing DS-160 uh, application ID and a new uh, application ID and you will need the both of them we'll talk uh, uh, further on that one thing is that uh, all the information that uh, you put before on an old DS-160 will transfer over and uh, all you have to do is to modify or add the information you need to add to correct the information. You don't have to refill the whole thing, it will automatically um, transfer the data from your existing one DS-160. You can also upload your photo if you're still asking. Once you are done and uh, ready to submit, 
the final application then you have to go back to the US travel portal and then log in with your credential so from on your screen here then when you are click on continue it will show you all the option here and then here your name and the first name and last name and you can just click on this option whichever you want to modify and then in there you will submit the new form so when you already you have corrected and modify your uh, mistake and submit then you will take the new application id number and you will head over to uh, portal ustravel.com website and you will log in with your credentials so here i will give you an example so this is a test account i will show you where you need to add the new application id you will select the privacy and then log in So you might have, a, you will see a similar screen, but might be a different options. Let's say here we'll say the cancel. If you already book your appointment, then it will say cancel, reschedule, uh, something like uh, uh, scheduling history and so forth. But from here, you just need to click uh, up on update profile. And from here, what you need to do is come here on DS160 confirmation number and you will see your existing DS160 confirmation you can either copy that or take a screenshot so you have this record and then you will add a new one it's always start with AA so let's say this is just the example I added this over here and then all you just have to do is click on save they say it's incorrect because it's probably missing some numbers but you will not see this message I think you get the point so you just come here and add your new DS160 confirmation number here so one thing keep in mind for the interview you will need to bring the old and the new DS160 confirmation page with you if you don't have the old one and only have the DS and the new one then there will be a problem so you need to make sure you have the old and the new one and then uh, for the new one you will see the updated one through the your email once you submit it and uh, to remember which one is the old and which one is the new one it is a good idea to put some kind of label or a sticky note on them so you can remember which one is new and which one is old so that's all uh, for now uh, this video was how to uh, correct the mistake and modify the existing DS-160 Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel and you can also check my other video on a given visa. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.